Hi. So this is example number seven of chapter 17, section 17.5. So here, as you see in the drawing, we have a spool. So this is a wheel, but it's not a homogeneous. So it has a mass of 200 kilograms and a radius of gyration of 3, 0 0.3 meters. A moment is applied about the center of gravity, which is in the middle of 450 newton meter, and we have friction between the spool and the floor. The cylinder is attached to point A with a cable to the wall, right? So, and we are being asked to find the angular acceleration of the spool and the tension of the cable. So the first, thing, the first thing we have to do is understand the motion. As we see, these things rotate because we are being applied a moment, but about what point is being rotated? Is about the point of contact or is about this point where the table is attached? And that's a very important issue, so because as since this cable is attached, I can, I'm trying to move my wheel in this direction and the cable is not letting me go in that way. So what is happening is it will try to rotate about the cable and move in the, this direction. Surface is slipping. This point will become, A will become the instant center of rotation. So that's the point where velocity is equal to zero, and then, as you recall, having that instant center of rotation, we know how much is the value for velocities and acceleration respect to that point. We are in initial motion, so the angular velocity is equal to zero. When do the solution, the first step is always to draw our coordinate system. I'm going to put x and y inertia coordinate system, and the second step is draw a free body diagram. The free body diagram will be, I will draw the spool like a wheel only, and let me draw the inside to be able to draw the tension. And then what do we have in this uh, wheel? We have a tension right here, right? We have a normal force, we have the weight, and the weight is 200 kilograms times the gravity. And then we have, since we said that this is trying to move in that direction, so we have a friction force. And the friction force, as you recall, when we are sleeping, is a kinetic coefficient of friction times the normal. And then we have also a moment that is being applied moment that is known and that's it and now we have to draw our kinetic diagram because as you remember when we are analyzing forces uh, forces and acceleration we do the, the free body diagram the kinetic diagram and then we apply the equations of motion Right, so I do this similar drawing. So, since we know that our center of rotation is right here, this is point A is equals our instantaneous center of rotation, we know that we rotate about that point. So we will have a linear velocity of, this, of the center of mass, and we will have rotation about the point, right? Now we do our equations of motion. Since I want to calculate the tension of the cable, I will have to add forces in x, forces in y, and moment about one specific point. So I will add my forces in x, that will be equal to my mass, acceleration of the center of mass in x. How many forces do I have in X? As you see, I have the tension, positive, right? The friction, negative. And I don't have any other force. And that will be equal to my mass, that is 200 grams. And I have the acceleration of the center of mass 
what is the acceleration of the center of mass when I know the instantaneous center of rotation? As you recall, and I can write it right here, it will be equals to angular acceleration times the distance between the instantaneous center of rotation and the point which is my center of gravity. And that distance is 0 0.4. Therefore, this is 0 0.4 right here. So here I have then 0 0.4 times alpha. So that's my first equation. I have two, I have actually three unknowns, as you see. I have tension, normal, and angular acceleration. So I need the other equations. I get my second equation will be, as you see, the acceleration in the y direction is zero, so the spool is not moving up and down, so I got only the external forces, right, which are the external forces of my free body diagram, which is then equals to my weight, negative, and plus the normal force is equals to zero. So here I have that the normal is equals to the weight, and the weight is known. 209.81. So I have one unknown less. I said here that you have three unknowns, right? The tangent, the normal, and the angular acceleration, but we already found the normal. So we put the normal right here, and then we have only the tension and alpha. So I have to now take moment about, the, I will take moment about my center of gravity, which you recall then it will be the mass moment of inertia respect to the center of gravity times alpha. And that, as you remember, the moment of inertia about the center of gravity when we have the radius of gyration will be the mass times this radius of gyration square alpha. So, and what will be my moment of the forces around this point, so I'm taking moment respect to this point right here. So it will be, as you see, the, the tension makes moment and 0 0.4, I know this distance, this distance is 0 0.4, and I know this distance as well, which is 0 0.6, right? So those are actually radius, I right? should write it like that, but in any case, let me write it like that. So it looks better. 0 0.4 negative, 0 0.4 negative, tension with negative 2, 0 0.6, the friction, which is the co coefficient times the normal. And then I have also the mo applied moment, which is a positive, plus 450. And actually may make that equal right here so that we have the equation. So that equation becomes, so if I substitute everything, let me substitute everything, I have 0 0.4 times the tension minus 0 0.6. I know the coefficient of friction, which is 0 0.2. I know the normal, which is 2. 100.9.8, and I know the moment, 450, and finally this is equals to my mass times 0 0.3 square times alpha. So I have a second equation which involves these two variables. I have a third equation, but the second equation that involves tension and alpha. So I have, then I will do is solve equation one and three for tension and the angular acceleration. I have the results. We were able to find the tension of the cable and the, the angular acceleration of this book.